Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sorcerer playthrough of Elden Ring. You might be wondering what the hell I'm doing here in Carrier Manor. Very simple, I had quite a lengthy recording session uh, that unfortunately ended with the audio becoming corrupted. Really, really annoying. Um, it, it was quite a good episode too and I just can't recover it. Uh, it's, it's just annoying. Some, sometimes the audio is too quiet or something. I screw up during recording. That's okay. I don't mind posting that. But here the audio is like actively fucked up on me and the voice as well. I mean, on the game, basically. Anyways, to give a recap of what I've done, uh, I tried fighting Renala. And it don't work, man. As in, Renala is way too powerful for me. She's basically the perfect counter to my build. So we're gonna have to hold out on that. That's the reason I initially went to Kaelid. Uh, but Kaelid is very like advanced for me currently, especially with my HP standing as it is. So I decided to come to Caria instead. And basically I just cleared the Caria up to Loretta. I got her Great Bow, which is, this is actually a sick spell. And yeah, now my plan is to move on to Rani because as much as I don't like Saluvius, he is a spell merchant, so he's gonna have some shit for us. Other than that, that's basically the gist of what I've been doing. Um, you did miss some, but yeah, the, the thing I'm bummed about is the episode itself was quite good, I think. Uh, and, you know, when you have good commentary, you're in the groove and all that. It's annoying uh, having to, to lose that, unfortunately. My question is, how do we do this? Fuck, I don't remember. The question is, can I even do this at this point? I totally, <laughs> like, forgot how this goes. Um... Blocked shot for now, okay. Maybe... Hmm... I legit don't remember. And I think that means Saluvius ain't here too. The dragon is here, uh, but Saluvius ain't. Jesus, okay. Talk about um, being resistant to magic. Yeah, there ain't nobody, there ain't gonna be nobody here, uh, I think, for now, but, yeah, yeah, this, this dude, oh, no, no, that was, that, that was the wrong tower, shit, okay, this is good, I totally forgot this is how it goes, um, if you're hearing the mad barking, not sure how much it's coming across, the reason that's happening is there's like these, uh, vagrants here going around town. They come around like every couple of weeks and they buy up scrap metal. That's what they do. And they have like this van which has this automatic recorded message on it uh, about them buying up like everything. Like if you if you have a wife to sell, they'll buy it. Um, and my dogs really hate this van. Uh, believe me. They really, really do not like this van. So that's the reason for the mad barking. Um, she's boring, um, but she's important. Because of Saluvius, who I'm still thinking about killing, maybe. Because uh, I don't like him, but we'll buy his spells for sure before that. So we're going to have to serve her. I'm probably not gonna do this quest line this quest line is mad annoying but in terms of like actual rewards this is good T technically this you need to do her quest line to get to uh, the moonlight great sword the moonlight great sword equivalent which is just the moonlight great sword but uh, it was real dumb sending that elevator back uh, but I think it's sort of like ice based as well in this game. This is it's a weird moonlight great sword that you have in this game. But it's really annoying to get. Like you get it right at the end of Rani's quest line. Uh probably the hardest it's been to get. 
the Moonlight Grey Sword, aside from when you have to fucking cut the tail off of Seath, because that shit is that shit is the worst. But anyways, we're gonna talk to these three fools, get the lay of the land, and then move back over. Good old Blight. We'll get to Nokron, believe me. I'm pushing for that as well. And of course this asshole. God, I wanna... I just wanna do it, but no. He's just a voice actor too. I mean, they knew what kind of character they were um, creating with this. But yeah, we'll visit him for sure because... He, I think, has some doing shit. Anyways, this is the boring bit of this. Uh, and you're not going to see much more of this. But this quest line, I mean. But as we go along, you know, I, I can sort of progress. I want to do... What's her name? Uh, Fia's quest line. Boob Lady's quest line. Alright. I'm done, right? I can get out. That dragon is gonna be a problem. Anyways, again, we're back with Elden Ring, just to set the scene for this episode, even though we're six minutes in. Uh, really, the thing I need to do here is just become a little bit more powerful. I know there's a lot of stuff to do that I haven't done yet. I haven't done the Earth Tree avatars in. Leonia yet. I haven't unlocked Godric's Great Rune in Limgrave. So believe me, I know that we have a lot to do. And I'll get to all of these things. Uh, mainly because it will all help to boost my power levels. Which, you know, offensively, I'm very strong. These spells are incredible. Where I'm lacking in is HP. That's that's the main problem. I think he has different dialogue if you're a sorcerer. Or maybe not. We're gonna accept the task, but we're gonna fuck him over, don't worry. <laughs> this is this is from playing Dark Souls 1. Um that I keep jumping. Don't worry about that. Oh fuck. Does he not... Does he not give you spells until you... Damn it. Alright, well, whatever. We're gonna have a look around here, but... The main thing I need to get around to doing is... I think we'll unlock Godric's Great Rune. That should... Sort of help in progressing things along. This is a... Memory Stone right here, which is good. I think there's one right here as well, which... Listen, the more memory stones we have, the better. Uh, especially, I think there are some later spells which do require two or three. Uh, yeah, there's one right here. So the more we can get, the merrier. And yeah, then I'm gonna go ahead and do the... Godric Tower, Soul, Rune, whatever thing. Because I realized I've been picking up Rune Arcs and... Having that boost from Godric's rune could help against Renala, but we need to get that first. Seek three wise beasts. Oh, is this another one of these? Such a cheapo quest line, right? But some of these do get creative. But not this one, I think. So you always have to kill them too. It's typical, typical Souls game, right? Always about the killing. Alright, this is not gonna be easy. Okay, so I am officially a dumbass. This does reset. Uh, as in these things, except for the one you, you killed already. 
I believe do disappear when you rest up at a side of grace because they sure as shit disappeared for me. Anyways, yeah, there's one right there. See, it wasn't there before. What you need to do is hit the tree. And I think the third one, I 100% did not look this up and 100% not going off of a walkthrough. Should be somewhere down there. Southeast of the tower, which is somewhere right around this vicinity. I think it's that cliff. Oh, fuck. Can you not get up on there? It's definitely that cliff. That's annoying. Give me just one second. Anyways, all for that sweet memory stone. Those things are so goddamn useful that I'm willing to go through the pain of doing this puzzle. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's do this. Let's go up the tower. I should have put one of those like Spongebob transitions, you know, the 10 hours later thing. That's a dead meme though, so we don't go for dead memes on this channel. You know how it is. Deep fried memes though, that's something else. God, that was so stupid when that was a thing. Deep fried memes. <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, we need to go to... I think this one, right? Yeah, yeah, this is the one. Exactly. Alright, we have plenty of spell, spell, spell slots now. Spell slots. Let's put in this and let's put in... I mean, it's a bit difficult to pick. Because uh, <laughs> most of these are shit. Let's do Scholar's Shield. Scholar's shield. God, that's a mouthful to say. Anyways. No, don't don't jump, idiot. Ho, ho, ho. I like it. Of course, the only thing about that this spell is uh, that's shitty is that to do real damage, you need to charge it. Eat shit, bitch. That didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. They actually take surprisingly little FP too. Oh yeah, other thing probably important to mention is... Yeah, I kind of just wanted to try that out. I don't want to fight this enemy because it's just going to drain me. Um, I got a new Estus or Cerulean flask. I picked one up. I picked. I already had a golden seed, but there's one in Carrier Manor. Uh, that's probably worth mentioning that that's something that happened. But again, as fun as the previous episode was, the only thing I'm happy about is at least nothing like very significant happened. That sucks when you like do a big boss or something. I cannot believe you. They sur they're surviving with like one HP. So yeah, what, what we're going to do now is the Divine Tower of Limgrave. Should be easy enough. God, okay, my, my weapon is performing slightly better than... What the... Okay. Than my spells. Oh man, do I have something for you? Oh, is that Does that protect them? It does, apparently. Yeah, this is the way you don't want to enter the castle. This is this is the masochist's way in. <sighs> Spells are so fucking good at tracking in this game. I can, again, only say after playing Dark Souls 1 spell only, you can't even compare it, man. 
I mean, it's a good upgrade that they've done. It's always, of course, it's always good when there are a lot of viable tactics in a game. And, you know, Sorcery is OP in Dark Souls 1 as well, but it has some, like, not even limitations, really, but you have to work around it, you know. It's the only thing I can say. So this thing, we're running past first, because this thing is mad annoying and can kill you very easily. So what you want to do is, just to be safe, hit up this bonfire. Last time I did this, it was night time, and that looks cool, but now we actually get to see the tower too. Uh, it gives a little bit of a different atmosphere. But yeah, this lion thing is... Pretty smart, actually. Nice avoidance. That ain't gonna work. Oh, this carry and greatsword thing is so incredibly good. Blast it. I'm kind of underwhelmed by... Oh, fuck. See, this is why you rest up. I'm kind of underwhelmed by the damage of Loretta's bow a little bit. Great bow. I know there is that even more advanced version, but man, I was expecting this thing to like blast enemies and it doesn't. Don't worry about it. We get to try again. I told you, didn't I? I told you you need to. Yeah, come on. Come on, bitch. Let's get closer. Oh, <laughs> All right. Um, it appears we have a stalemate. Still work though. Yeah, let me just get this. Thanks. That reminded me of that smash thing. You guys remember that smash finals? It's pretty famous. When it was two Bayonetta players and they just ended up charging the sort of same move facing each other. That was fucking crazy, man. Because Bayonetta was so shittily overpowered that basically everybody was rebelling. And the two neckbeards in the final, they decided to troll everyone and they just started charging the same attack. Which you can charge infinitely while facing each other. And... The goddamn tournament organizers actually had to step in and tell them that they need to play. They can't just like stall forever. That's so crazy when you think about it. Like... Can you not summon torrent here? Why did I think you could? That's so fucked up when your, your game is... <laughs> There's a character that's so OP... That... People troll so much on a tournament, an official tournament. I think it was the EVO Grand Finals too. That people have to step in and tell you that you need to play. That is messed up. Uh oh. Oh, double uh oh. Hold on, let me just... Let me just crit your little buddy right here. 4,000 damage. It's the type of damage the boy likes to see. Terrible aim. Is that gonna hit me? No, it's not. God, Rock Sling is so good. And this should... Yep. I swear I... I thought you could summon torrent here. This feels like a torrent area, doesn't it? Don't tell me it doesn't. It's so messed up. That animation of him just like tracking you. Jesus. Yeah, don't even think about that shit. 
Okay. I as blasted him. D don't even need. Don't even need that crit. Yeah, this is a pretty good setup we have going. Again, offensively, I'm like... I'm like this. I'm good to go. Where I start running into problems with this build is if there's anything that's magic resistant, i.e. Renala. Renala, I think, is the prime example of, again, a hard counter to this build. Because she's just taking no damage, man. I even upgraded the wolves. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I did. I upgraded the wolves in hopes of... Um, what the hell is... Did you see that, like... This game is weird sometimes, man. Anyways, uh, I even upgraded the wolves, thinking it would help. And they sort of do. That's where the other problem comes in. Uh, my defenses and my HP. She literally one-shots me with most of her magic attacks. So... Yeah, that's the, that's the type of thing that makes fights a little bit difficult. But again, good thing about this game is you can do other stuff. You can do plenty of other stuff. And again, Godric's rune might just give me the edge. Uh, it does boost your intelligence as well and your magic. It boosts every stat. So, I don't know, man. That just might be, again, the thing that's needed to push me over the edge. There it is. That does look pretty sick. I like how, again, it's it's weird to explain why these things look so cool, right? They're like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, we have the great rune. Uh, we are going to... Do you need to head back? Now to have a conversation? I don't think you do. Anyways, that's besides the point. Nah, 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 you don't need to. Okay. We can equip this, and uh, let's just do one. I only have three rune arcs. Well, I thought I had more. Jesus, that does boost you quite a bit, doesn't it? Um, fuck it. Let's give this a try. Is this the right one? I think so. Might as well show a bit of Renala, right? Might as well. You haven't even seen the fight yet because that was part of the episode or the video that got corrupted. And that was a long recording session too. I went on for like 50 minutes. It would have been two episodes and got fucked up. And now I have to put in like extra. Like I'm traveling tomorrow. So, oh God, this is annoying. I'm traveling tomorrow. So I have to get at least a couple of videos out while I'm gone. I want to not just leave you hanging, you know. Anyways, we can heal with this. Get to Roxling, because Roxling is the one spell that actually works against her. <clears throat> and let me show you how this works. So essentially, the the sort of slightly fucked up thing is I start attacking these things and already I can't find oh man is, is the game trolling me like listen first time around but it the little bubbles me are meant to be in like close to Renala there it is She's gonna start dropping, man. And this is where it gets fucked up. I am barely dealing any damage to her. Are you seeing this? So this is the main issue. The main issue is I can't kill her. Or I can barely kill her in three reps. Uh, whereas in the previous playthrough with the omen killer, I could kill her in two, 
very easily. And that makes things a little bit challenging because this phase actually gets harder the longer the fight goes on. And again, I meant to show that Rock Sling at least does damage against her. Uh, unfortunately, not all of the rocks can hit her, which is a bit messed up. Still, see, it's three reps. And again, she just starts... No, oh no. That's not what I meant to do. She just starts kind of going wrong uh, at like this point. But this is actually, I'm lucky with the spawn. Very lucky actually. This should be good. No, lock on, fuck. Alright, we're good. I think Godric's rune is like pushing me over the edge here. Oh, oh, you haven't seen the cutscene. I should show it. At least you can get to see this cutscene. But this is where the problem lies. Phase 2, man. I do like that she's the only one of these sort of shard bearers or room bearers or whatever they're called that you're not actually killing. I kind of like Renala. I mean, she's probably crazy as hell. She looks crazy as hell, but she also seems kind of nice. I would have felt bad for her if we actually had to kill her. It's such a manus portal. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Foul trespasser. Yeah, so she's this is basically a spirit summon version of Ranala that we're fighting here. Roxling is still going to be putting in work, believe me. Hmm. I do wonder if my heal went through. She's cool. Ultimecia. No, it didn't go through. Wolfo's heal. So this is the reason, oh come on, you're going for that right away. That's messed up. Is it targeting one of the wolves? Yes it is. So that's the attack that one shots me. I mean we just gotta use the stun locking. As you can see I ain't dealing a lot of damage to her. Okay, and this is where the oh she summoned the dragon. Out of the possibilities she can summon, the dragon is the one you really don't want. The ra the dragon just messes things up so badly. Rock sling, put in work. What? Oh. Rock sling, doggos, lock on, come on, it's all going to shit. Is the dragon still there? Cheap, she, she's so cheap. Come on. No. <sighs> she's dead. Holy fuck, look at my HP. <laughs> this boss with this build is insane. Thank you, Godric's rune. You actually did just save my ass. Full appreciation to Doggos and Godric's rune. I couldn't have done that without it. Like, I didn't know she can summon two spirits. That's so messed up.
We don't need to rebirth, luckily. What we do need to do is get back to the round table hold. Her soul is actually useful and her soul will actually have to duplicate because both of the things you get from her are magic related. Alright, great rune. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. I don't really have good talismans, that's the thing. Um, so, two things. Carrion Regal Scepter. 60. A worrying 60 int needed. Only those of the highest intelligence may wield this. The finest of all glintstone stabs. So I think this is the most OP one, right? It has to be. And the other one you get, costing a wonderful 70 intelligence, is this is the most advanced spell in the game. Uh, Renala's Full Moon. Uses the caster as a vessel to incarnate a full moon, then send it floating towards foes. The full moon dispels all sorcery that touches it and temporarily reduces magic damage negation for, for those it strikes. Queen Renala encountered this enchanting moon when she was young, and later it would bewitch the academy. Those are two good things. Uh, we'll get the carry and regal scepter for now. We'll duplicate her <clears throat> soul later and get the uh, full moon. Obviously, these are things I'm not going to be able to use for a very, very long time, and that's putting it mildly. Still, we have quite a few levels. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of points into my HP and get that sweet sweet 30 intelligence we're halfway there that's crazy to think we're only halfway there <laughs> to the scepter all right here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Elden Ring we'll have to figure out <clears throat> sort of where to go next time we have the lift of course for which we need to go to Kaelid there's the mines here and there's another one, yeah, right here. I might just visit those two and figure out how to duplicate the soul she has. Something like that. But we'll visit Kaylid as well next time. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of The Sorcerer Run for Elden Ring, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.